space travel's ultimate taboo death among the stars. And NASA's got a plan. Imagine being an astronaut on a spacewalk. Now imagine something goes terribly wrong. Former ISS commander Chris Hadfield revealed the unsettling truth to popular science. First step? Get the body back to the airlock. But here's where it gets grim. A dead body decomposes faster in a warm spacesuit. To avoid contaminating the air, NASA keeps the body in the suit and stores it in a cold part of the ISS. Handling death on the ISS is no easy feat. NASA's protocol offers three bleak options. 1. Return the body to Earth. Ideal but often impractical. 2. Jettison it into space. Sounds simple but it breaks international law and causes diplomatic chaos. 3. Destructive re-entry, basically cremation by Earth's atmosphere. Effective but ethically dicey. NASA researchers even proposed a chilling alternative, freeze the body and shatter it into tiny pieces using a robotic arm. Efficient but it sounds like something out of a sci-fi horror. And what if an astronaut dies on the moon, decomposition halts without Earth's bacteria, the body stays eerily preserved, but planetary protection rules mean it must be brought back home. Despite the meticulous planning, there's one thing NASA can't prepare for, the emotional toll on the crew, the hope that astronauts save their passing for solid ground. Intrigued by space's dark secrets like share and subscribe for more cosmic curiosities.